What if I told you the software your new Pico Cup comes with is barely scratching the surface? You don't have to settle for the stock OS because it's really just a starting point, not the end of the road. After unboxing it, snapping it all together, and loving that super tactile keyboard and awesome retro screen, you can unlock so much more. Well, I'm Jay Blanked, and today we're counting down the top five community repositories ranked by their popularity on GitHub. We're talking about everything from the official C++ source code to collections of classic basic programs and even a full on hardware brain transplant. This is where the real fun with the PicoCalc begins. All right, kicking things off is the official repository for the firmware your PicoCalc probably already has, the official Clockwork Pi PicoCalc repository. It's important to understand this repo because it's the foundation everything else is built on. This repository contains the documentation for hardware and schematics, information about the SD card, and a whole host of surprising applications. You'll find a NES emulator for retro gaming, there's an MP3 player to show off the audio capabilities, and even a version of ULISP, turning your device into a Lisp machine. There are also several Hello World and demo projects that showcase how to use the hardware or software in your own projects. Think of this repository as the official sampler platter. It gives you a taste of everything the hardware can do, from C to C++ development to gaming and media playback. It's pretty much an open invitation for developers to see how everything is made and a toolkit for makers to get started. So who is it for? This is for anyone who wants to understand the core of the device. It's for hardware enthusiasts who need schematics, retro gamers who want to try the NES emulator, and developers looking for official demo code to start their own projects. All right, next up we have the Xenodonte MicroPython driver repository. It is a significant piece of the PicoCalx history. It represents one of the early foundational efforts to get MicroPython running on the device. The repository provides a pre-built MicroPython image in the UF2 format, along with the core drivers needed to control the PicoCalc's unique hardware, like its 320x320 320 screen and keyboard. For many users on the PicoCalc, this was the first gateway into Python programming on their new gadget. Now, while it has since been surpassed by other projects and is now considered somewhat outdated, its importance can't be overstated. It pretty much laid the groundwork that other developers would later build upon, proving that a rich Python environment was possible on this hardware. So who is it for? This is for the PicoCalc historian, uh, developers interested in the evolution of the platform software, or anyone who wants to experiment with one of the first community-led MicroPython ports. At number three, we have the repository that's all about content. Now, this isn't a firmware, but a treasure trove. Now, this isn't a firmware, but a treasure trove of programs designed to run on the MM Basic firmware. This repository is a perfect example of community spirit. It's a collection of basic programs that have been converted and curated to run on the PicoCalc. Inside, you'll find dozens of .bas files that you can just drag and drop onto your SD card. We're talking about games, utilities, art generators, and maze programs, all with that classic 80s home computer feel. By exploring the repository, you get access to a huge library of ready-to-run software that transforms your calculator into a portable retro gaming device in minutes. 
So who is it for? This is for the retro computing fan, the hobbyist who loves basic or anyone running MM Basic who wants to tap into a huge library of community made software with a very nostalgic flavor. Well, now for something completely different. Our fourth repository doesn't just contain software, it documents a brain transplant. This is the Look Fox Lyra repository. To use this project, it involves physically removing the Raspberry Pi Pico from your PicoCalc and replacing it with a totally different, more powerful board. The Lugfox Lyra, which can run a full Linux operating system. That repository is a collection of the essential software, patches, and documentation created by the community pioneers who figured out how to make this work. You'll find compiled images, notes on driver configuration, and discussions about hardware modifications needed to get things like audio working. That repository doesn't just give you the files, it gives you a window into a highly experimental and niche project, turning the PicoCalc into a true pocket-sized Linux computer. Well, who is it for? This is for expert level hardware modders and Linux gurus only. If you're in love with Linux, this repository is your roadmap to the ultimate PicoCalc challenge. And that brings us to the fifth repository, a project I'm very excited to share because it's my own, PicoWare. Now, PicoWare is an open source firmware I developed to completely transform the PicoCalc from a simple tool into a modern connected multi-language pocket computer. In my opinion, it's the does it all firmware that a lot of us were waiting for. So what makes the PicoWare project so special? Well, first, it's incredibly versatile, supporting development with the Arduino IDE, CircuitPython, the C and C++ SDK, and most importantly, MicroPython. That's actually what you see on the screen now, and it has one of the coolest features, a complete code editor that runs on the device. You can write, save, and run Python scripts right on your PicoCalc without ever having to plug it into a computer. Second, it's built for connectivity. The repository has all the code needed to take advantage of a Raspberry Pi Pico W giving you Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. This opens the doors for apps that can check the weather, access online services, or even connect to a social network I built for hobbyist devices. It's all there in the repo, the firmware, the sample apps, and the guides to get started. So who is it for? PicoWare is for the user who wants the most powerful, modern, and feature-packed experience on their PicoCalc. If you're willing to do a simple hardware swap to a Pico W, this repository will give you everything that you need to make your device feel generations ahead of the stock model. Well, so there you have it, five key repositories that take your PicoCalc to the next level. We started with the official Clockwork Pi C++ repo, looked back at the pioneering but outdated Xenodontes MicroPython driver, and explored the fun-filled MM Basic programs collection. We then examined the expert-only hardware challenge documented in the Lockfox Lyra repo, and finally, I introduced you to my own project, PicoWare, and it's all in one approach. But ultimately, the best project is the one that fits what you want to do. If you're a beginner, stick with the stock OS for a bit. If you love to code, pick your language and build something cool. If you're a hardware wizard, that Linux transplant is waiting for you. And if you want just a total transformation in a single package, PicoWare is the way to go. But now I want to hear from you. What are you running on your PicoCalc? Did I miss your favorite repository or project? Definitely let me know down in the comments. 
And if you found this guide helpful, do me a quick favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss the next one. I'm Jay Blanked. Thanks for watching. Peace.